Good morning, I'm Mackenzie Laporte, and this is your news update. This past Monday here at Marvin Hall, KU held a native space event with artist Norman Akers. Akers gave us an inside to his work and how all the pieces tie together. It's been nearly two years since COVID-19 led to the worldwide shutdown. At KU, classes move online in March of 2020, and meetings in person activities came to a screening halt. Now make sure you grab your mask because the LEAD Center is in accordance with KU's mass policy. I am here at the Lawrence Salvation Army with two missionary sisters volunteering their time to help shovel the snow on this very, very windy and cold day. We get to see the indigenous artwork that is being held here on campus at the gallery, focusing on one specific exhibit in particular titled Who's America, where students from a 20th century art class share their work. Making healthy food available to KU students started as a pandemic outreach, but as KUJH's Anna Dennison shows us, it became a permanent project for one campus ministry. The board held a meeting on Monday where it elected to delay closing down six schools for this year and next year. All right, Jayhawks, I'm Mackenzie Laporte standing right outside of the gallery. Let's go take a look. Rock Chalk Review features five groups from the University of Kansas's Greek Life. These groups create their own original musicals to perform in front of a live audience. This production includes five performing groups as well as the advisory board that handles all of the behind the scenes. Each person dedicates up to 25 hours per week up until show day. We are in charge of curating the five shows that all the Greek houses participate in, and uh, we work with the groups every day. We're there every day, five hours a day, sometimes more, working personally with these groups to make sure the shows are the best they can be. I don't think people realize the magnitude and the scale of this entire show, so it's, it's pretty um, breathtaking when you realize um, you know, how much effort it requires. Standing here today with the stage right behind me that the five groups from Rock Chalk Review will be performing on this Thursday with a live audience for the first time since 2020. These five groups have spent the past year writing, choreographing, and directing their own musicals to perform in front of a panel of judges. I think this the, what's really fun this year is that it, it's back in the lead center. Um, the theme for the show is for old time's sake, and we'd like to think that for old time's sake we're going to be back in the lead center. And, trying to hold rock chalk as, as it's always been. The show is hosted here at the Lead Center and will be open to the public this Thursday, February 24th through the 26th. Now make sure you grab your mask because the Lead Center is in accordance with KU's mask policy. Now we leave you today with the sights and sounds of Rock Chalk Review for 2022. <laughs> Kansas agriculture officials are asking poultry owners to take some precautions after a strain of the bird flu has been detected in the U.S. While there is no health threat to humans, the state wants anyone who has poultry to be aware. So this is a virus we look for and, and anticipate each and every year. The bird flu affects both wildlife and domestic birds. Making ways towards Kansas, it has been detected in the United States in 14 states so far. But we still want any of these folks, our backyard parks, to be very diligent uh, about their, their biosecurity or maintaining that separation from the virus to their birds. And so that's the key. This deadly bird flu has not only been found on farms, but in the backyard of some homes. <laughs> Now, Dr. Smith says that keeping a clear line between the poultry and the rest of the world is key for your safety. Removing our shoes and contaminated clothes before coming indoors, as well as washing our hands, will keep us all safe. A Lawrence Loco gives us a look at what it's like to create that separation. Uh, one of our hens, uh, Queen Elizabeth, got pretty sick and lethargic. And so we had to separate her from the rest of the flock, put her in the garage for a little bit and uh, give her a few medications that we kind of researched ourselves. Um, and she ended up making it through. These Lawrence locals use apple cider vinegar as an immune booster to keep their chickens safe and healthy. I guess farm vets only stick to large livestock. 
So it's kind of hard to find a chicken vet, really. For anyone with concerns, please reach out to the Kansas Department of Agriculture. That number is 785-564-6700. Mackenzie, what types of birds can farmers look out for? So any type of wildlife bird is something to look out for. It could be anywhere from geese to ducks that may infect your backyard poultry. This is your news update. I'm Mackenzie Laporte. Have a great day, Jayhawks.